next crop that we've had tremendous success is with winter safflower. Sangu was instrumental and cooperative with us getting uh, nearly a quarter million dollars worth of federal grant money to pursue the fuel potential of safflower in this region. So he's done a really good job in, in doing that for us. Obviously there's a lot of uh, material still left out in the field after a grain harvest and we just want to know how much energy is left in this plant. I suspect there's probably not a lot, but there's some there. And so our thinking was if the cellulose ethanol production ever does come online in this area on a large scale, New Mexico could be set up pretty well to contribute a lot of uh, acres of the wheat stubble residue. And also it could be a secondary source of income for, for farmers. Basically, between New Mexico and Texas combined, you're looking at the third largest milk shed in the nation. And if you throw Arizona in that mix, then we're probably flirting with Wisconsin. So basically in the Southwest, we're right behind, well, not right behind California, but we're very close to Wisconsin when it comes to milk production. Mm -hmm.